Alex, welcome back to Molly. Thank you. You know, you were here, oh, I guess a month or so ago, and we were talking about the spin-on canister style oil filters. That's right. And we ran out of time. You had to scoot on out of town and go back to your racing job. <laughs> and we decided that when you came back the next time, we'd talk about these kind of oil filters here, okay? These are cartridge type of filters. Also known as eco filters, I think you said, You're right? You're correct. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you've got a good memory. And I just you wonder how they got their name eco? I do. Yeah? Well, I'm glad you asked because <laughs> you know me, I have the answer to everything, right? Yes, please right? tell. So here's the story. Uh, these filters are similar to these kind of filters. They were on vehicles when I was a kid. Hmm. In like the old 55 Chevrolet, it had a metal canister, and that metal canister had a long bolt that went through it. And when you dra drained the oil to change the filter, you took that whole canister off and pulled an element out and threw it away. And you put a new element in, and then you screwed the bolt back in. You had a gasket like this, and you renewed it. And somehow or other, probably about 1960, maybe in the early 60s, they, someone invented this spin-on filter, like right. we talked about at the last show. Mm -hmm. And it was sold on convenient. You know, how convenient it was. You bought a filter, you spun it on, you spun it off, you threw it in the trash, and that was the end of it, you know. Easy. You didn't have any old dirty uh, metal canister to reuse. You didn't have to worry about an O-ring missing, you know. And uh, those canister fi filters just faded away. Hmm. Now, what's happened in the last, oh, probably five, seven years, is we're back, you know. <laughs> Now, it's a whole new style. You mentioned eco, and we can talk about eco with our viewers here. Notice this is kind of a paper or a felt kind of material. Yeah. It's actually a plastic material. This is plastic here. There's no metal in this filter whatsoever. Even the little screen in the inside for the clean oil is plastic. So what we can do when we change the filter in a car like this with an eco filter is we can take this over to a crusher and we can crush this thing down and squeeze literally all the oil out of it. Okay. And then because there's no metal here, this filter that remains can go to an incinerator, a special incinerator, where they actually burn the filter. Hmm. Now all those metal filters we talked about, you know, shops crush those down to get the oil out, but we're left with a hunk of metal and paper and oil, and they can go into landfill landfills somewhere. Landfills, that's right. You yeah. know, and we're running out of space in this country for landfill stuff like that. So there's a big push on now with new car manufacturers, both European, Asian, and American, all three, to come up with these eco filters. Got so it. we're looking at some examples right here. So, okay, this is environmentally friendly. Yep. Now, I got that part, but what's this little guy doing up here? What the, well, what's the purpose of that thing? These eco filters nowadays, we don't have any metal canisters anymore. We have a plastic housing, and many of them fit on the engine like this. Okay, and if we don't have some provision for draining the oil out of the filter mm -hmm. before we remove that housing, we have oil runs all over the engine, all over your garage floor, makes a huge mess. So what this thing does is when we assemble this and tighten up that plastic canister, this pushes a little valve down that allows the oil to flow through the engine. Okay. Okay. When we raise it up, this releases that little valve and keeps all that oil from running all over the floor when hmm. we change the filter. Cool. So it's really to make it easier to change the oil without getting oil everywhere because so many of these filters now are upright on the engine mm -hmm. somewhere. So that's the point of that little pin. No mess. Got it. Okay. All right. What else can you tell me about these special well, filters? Well, you pointed this out to me when we were on our coffee break that it's like we got big and medium and little filters. Yeah. and. Often this is the derivative of either how big the engine is, you know, in terms of displacement, right. or how little of space we have in the vehicle. Yeah. This little baby here fits a Fiat, you know, and some little tiny cars, mm -hmm. and there's just not enough room in there for a great big filter like this. Right. So we put a small filter in. You notice there's a whole lot of pleats there. Lots Remember of when pleats. you were here last time we talked about pleats? Yes. Well, when your filter's this small, you better have a lot of filter media here or right. you'll be changing filters every couple thousand miles. More pleats, more surface area, better Absolutely. filtering capability. So here we got a taller filter. We didn't have to get quite so crazy on the number of pleats because we got a lot more surface area there, huh. more space in the vehicle. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? I don't believe so. Well, these are really quite simple as you see here. You know, a lot easier than the canister filter that we looked at, you know, a couple, oh, well, it was a month or so ago when mm -hmm. you were here. Not nearly as many parts in there. And again, the big drive is we can crush this filter down, squeeze all the oil out, and incinerate it. So we save vital landfill space for other stuff. That's, That's always simple. important. Yep.
So thanks for coming back. Thank you. Alrighty.